their relentless quest for understanding the universe. The analysis of the ancient rishis of India showed them that everything is made of five elemental entities. The Pancha Mahabhutas, Akasha, Eternal Sky, Vayu, Formless yet palpable air, Tejas, Hot Fire, Ah, with its soothing coolness water and Prithvi, the gross earth. These rishis delve deep into their observations and philosophy to come up with a system of healing incorporating the Pancha Mahabhutas. For diagnosis and treatment, they further developed the concepts of Tridoshas, the three humors, Vata, arising from the combination of space and air. in the body balancing each other and any disturbance in this equilibrium leads to disease. Ayurveda envisaged a state of health beyond the absence of disease. A person can be called healthy, Ayurveda says, when his body constituents are in equilibrium his assimilation is good and his spirit, senses and mind are happy. gratefully cradles its restorer. It is a different realm altogether, with infinite peace and power. That rare combination that can emanate only from a beacon of wisdom. The Art of Living International Ashram, Bengaluru, is the headquarters of one of the largest NGOs on the planet. This is where many social, cultural and spiritual ideas and initiatives take birth and are fostered by dedicated work, sharp minds and caring hearts till they attain maturity. 
understanding the glory and greatness of ayurveda the art of living foundation is undertaking a movement to revive this ancient art of life a rediscovery of ayurveda Kutir, the Panchakarma centered rejuvenation recourse at the ashram is part of this grand scheme of rediscovery. It is housed in beautiful heritage architecture of Kerala that soothes the mind and the aesthetic senses alike. A perfect paradise for retuning the body to natural harmony. The five purificatory therapies, Panchakarma, are the cornerstones of Ayurvedic treatment. They are used to expel vitiated doshas thus eliminating the cause of disease and ensuring that no further complications ensue. constant communication with the big mind, the nature, the universal mind. According to Ayurveda, the treatment has got different aspects of healing. It includes meditation practices, it includes pranayam, yoga, sadhanas, it includes diet, it includes singing, it includes everything from the time we wake up in the morning till we go to bed. When a person comes here for treatment, what we focus on is their lifestyle. Is there anything to be corrected in their lifestyle and eating habits? is being established in the self, which means there is a perfect harmony amongst the levels of body, mind and spirit. Man is in constant communication with the nature, the nature within and the nature outside. Perfect health is when an individual lives in tune with the nature and disease 
is when the living is out of tune with the nature. The entire principles and practices of Ayurveda are based on this very fact of life. Ayurveda is not just a medical science, it is a complete way of living.